we have been cribbing about you know RBI ban, RBI ban. But actually, Harish has actually seen uh, you know suffered personally as well when he actually tried to bring an, a solution. He was actually working on a very legitimate kind of a project, and uh, for that he got arrested. And he actually he and his family personally suffered a lot during that time. So welcome, Harish. I I know that the introduction has gone a little longer than expected, but you thoroughly deserve it. So welcome on our show. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, so, Kasim, for having me today <laughs> in the uh, entry. And uh, yeah, yeah, we we were the first exchange and faced a lot in 2018, mm -hmm. as you already know, because of the ATM or else other things uh, and uh, co-petitioner in the in IMAI. Mm -hmm. So very proud of that one. And I will I will come on to that uh, later. First, you need to uh, first my first question to you, Harish. Since you have been on the front line of the case, right? 2018 has been a horrendous year for you, right? So uh, I also know that you are a man of yeah. very few words. You are a man of very few few words. You are not like somebody who will actually show a lot of excitement or who will be very active on social media. I know you are a man of few words, but today is a chance that if we really want to know your excitement. What was the level of excitement when judgment came in? And are you really excited about it? What has been your feeling? Oh, the judgment was the landmark judgment for us mm -hmm. and as an industry and as well, as well as for my personal. Mm -hmm. And in the judgment today, if I want to tell, mm -hmm. we took the flight and I and Jaydeep took the flight at around mm -hmm. 3 a.m. flight. Mm. Uh, to the judgment and we gone and reached to the court and uh, mm. the judge came in and uh, the judge just told one word only one word it's aside that's it finished so <laughs> i was not having any words or anything to uh, mm. this much of excitement for because we win the case in terms mm. uh, in front of like an rba and the judge just was like just one word not even lengthy judgment or mm. anything it's just one word like it's an aside mm. that's it finished so mm. we were all like danish was me along with that one so we i didn't add any words to tell on that time so that much of excitement it was because we tried since from last two years mm. it was not like one month or two months and as you already told mm. every time the supreme court was giving different dates and even after the different dates also we were waiting and mm. our case was never coming in the in the least on that particular day mm. and uh, so much of disappointed few times why why it's not coming to us mm. uh, whether we are not uh, legit like that because any government pressure or else anything it's coming to the court we were not able to understand in the starting but that's how the supreme court works uh, mm. once you once your case is got to the table so it will be permanently, it will be your, what you call, your stance, whatever you want to explain to the court, you can. And I, it was really a good judgment for the entire crypto industry. That's amazing. And That's I, right. uh, frankly, thanks for the NDA mm -hmm. team and uh, NDA team and Jaydeep and uh, Asim and everybody. Uh, they were the people who were working day and night along with us and they were the person who told we need the individual uh, to climb this uh, to win this case exactly or else uh, the companies can't go and ask for the human rights and what all so then on that position we were already like in so much of uh, scale because how high individual can file the case against the rba so but still we are i took an what you call bold decision to file the case against the rba and we fight it and yeah. we finally uh, Arish, now uh, since the judgment is out right uh, and the main yeah. question was what the community is asking us and to other people as well that what are the chances now do you think that the government can still ban it and uh, what do you think that what will, what is going to be the action plan of the government now do you think they'll they'll come up with a regulation as there was some story which was going in the media that they might regulate it as well but what is your feeling? Because since you have been there in this uh, industry for the for in, since 2013, on based on your experiences, you're a senior guy. 
uh, what is your gut feeling? What what is going to be the action plan of the government? See, after this judgment come, the government can't ban it, uh, outright ban as as it was done before from the RBA. But uh, we need to work towards the what you call. Uh, there is a draft bill in the mm. parliamentary session. We need to fight for that one as an industry and as an entire crypto industry. So we need to fight regarding for that one. So that is the major challenge right now, uh, what, what we see in terms of uh, banning or something. But right now, there is no ban for the likes like one year or so. Uh, because because the court, court even directed that you can't ban it. But the, if you see the entire judgment, so they told you, you can be able to regulate it. And also one, to, what you call, committee report also in the world committee report also they told few of the you know, DDPI and everything. So they can regulate with the existing laws, but nobody has taken that entire steps. But now I feel that again, they will rethink and they will make some standing committee or something like that one and they will rework and there will be some regulation sooner or later. Okay, so you, what what I can, uh, how I can summarize from your, from this discussion is that you think that now it, it won't be easy to ban it, outrightly ban it, and the chances are that it, it, it can be regulated. I mean, the, there is high yeah. chances that government will come up with a regulation. Yeah, yeah. correct. So, I also want to understand, uh, Hari, since you are there since 2013, and and people really expect Uno Coin and you know senior guys to actually contribute a lot, uh, you know, when it comes to fighting it out for regulation. Has there been any attempt from you and your co-founders uh, to go and visit a member of parliaments or maybe you know legislative body and or maybe some kind of regulators? Have you ever met them and? and try to explain them about this industry and try to explain your point. Oh, that is my, yeah, what you call, regular routine to meet the MPs because as you also know, it's in the, what you call, parliamentary. I personally met some uh, five to 10 MPs all of, of all the states. And uh, uh, before when you go to them, they'll be having some negative thoughts, but when you explain them, all the MPs are good. Like you can tell them, like there is no education to the uh, proper proper education is missing. Communication is missing. I personally met few of the MPs, and once the once we explained them, we are all the exchanges are doing KYC and all the norms and the AML KYC has been strictly done and everything. They are okay for that. But but the time is like we need to meet more MPs as a community and we need to explain them. But but uh, whomever I met, there is no negative thoughts from any any of the MPs. Uh, blockchain on crypto, but everybody like the blockchain, but crypto they were missing because of only one thing: the media, uh, what you call frontline media is highlighting and crypto in different uh, scenario but everybody know that the crypto is only used for some criminal activities or something like that one so once we explain how exactly the crypto industry uh, works and everything they were okay for that one but it's a long way we need to fight it's 19 hours one. so harish uh, so one more point here I'll post your discussion uh, why uh, you know, post the judgment, we were expecting that the industry players will come together and, you know, they will form a joint committee where now they will get, get their, you know, they will, everybody will come together and maybe they'll, they'll pull in some fund as well. And they might, you know, uh, put in a joint effort to meet regulator or maybe to meet MPs and MLAs, but that has not happened. I personally have a feeling, you know, since looking at the industry, uh, been looking at this industry for the past two, three years, that there seem to be, you know, some kind of, uh, some reason that people are not able to come together and maybe as a joint force and work toward a common goal. Everybody is having their own agendas, own funds. But as an industry, I think uh, somewhere we have not come together. Do you agree with this point? 
Uh, I agree with you. Since from 2013, that was the thing we were facing as an association, and we now we brought up the IMAI also into middle to mm. take this forward as a big community. And we had last week we had uh, all the exchanges with all the new players. Also, we had a, a Zoom call and everything. I think in a, soon or later we'll all come up with an one. Uh, one logic where we where, where we need to fight this uh, for one cause as an industry as a NASCOM we'll come up with one one more motto we need to win and regulate the crypto industry in India. Okay, where your that your entry into the lending space, uh, your crypto lending space, or your entering into uh, you know. Uh, are there any major plans of Uno coins? You, we, we have also seen, uh, heard that you're hiring as well. So, so from a from a team from 30 to you, maybe you're trying to hire more people. Are there any big plans which are coming up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We are, we have started the lending very recently. So how mm -hmm. that works is like. If you're having the Bitcoin, you can come to our platform and you can uh, take the USDT as a loan and you can repay in terms of USDT as well as you can convert to the USDT to INR and you can use for your personal needs as of now. And you don't want to sell your crypto. That means you don't want to sell the Bitcoins as a per se. And uh, everybody know the Bitcoin price will be going up and up. So nobody want to lose their Bitcoin for their bad times. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are also, I think, uh, I think has been started and some few of the Zoom calls and as you know, there is no physical interviews nowadays. We are taking few of the Zoom interviews and we are uh, you know, starting our new team. Okay, so only for specifically for lending or for, for some other project as well? Uh, for some few other projects also, we are working on few other projects also to come up with things. So we are raising the, the new tech team and customer support and everything. Okay, one question. Uh, recently, Tim Draper was in town. Tim Draper was in on his visit to India. <laughs> and you guys tweeted yeah. a photograph alongside, standing alongside him. And you actually met him. So want to know, uh, about little more about Tim Draper, how he is as a personality, how so what is his perspective and what is his uh, you know outlook toward crypto and are there any plans? Uh, is there something cooking or are you planning to get some funding from him maybe? Uh, if you want to tell regarding the thing, he is the person of the big believer of the bitcoins. And uh, if you see, once he saw the judgment, and he was he was selected the tie. What he wearing the tie? Yeah, the tie was having the judgment of this, and along with one side is the gold and one side is the bitcoins. So that much of uh, yeah. what he call <laughs> person the thing is bitcoin is on yeah. upper and the gold is on the down. He was, so he was, he, he was, he was, he was wearing, a, so he was wearing our logo. You can say that. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> logo. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so one said uh, for that, for that particular purpose, we asked his permission and we took that Thai photo also where we can show for the crypto community, how much, uh, what you call so big person is, uh, what you call, uh, in, believer of the bitcoins and as you know we met in terms of what you call the team dapper is also run in uh, venture capital in india called dapper dapper venture network and our bloom portfolio is the dapper venture network uh, uh, in india so we met uh, as he came for the dapper venture network in india so we also met him and uh, Let's see, he's also a big believer in the Bitcoin. Uh, so we are seeing from something called funding or something, but it okay. is still not in English. Okay, okay. My ne next question is, uh, uh, Harish, Sunny Ray, I think is based out of Canada. 
I think it's not based out of India, yeah. if I'm not wrong, right? So he's one of the co-founder in a, in your exchange, right? He's one yeah, of the co-founder. Yeah, he was the uh, co-founder. Okay, okay. And he's also the yeah. uh, uh, business development head for Kraken Exchange. So, so we were wondering, it is it is safe for us to assume that in future Unocoin and Kraken can maybe come together, or can we assume that? And what what is his role exactly in Kraken and uh, and Unocoin? Is it is it not conflicting? No, actually, uh, after this uh, court things and everything, he come up and there was no survival time for him as he was staying in Canada. So actually, he moved out from uh, Unocoin to Kraken and he is a full-time employee in the Kraken. And uh, we are in talk with them and let's see how it goes and everything. Uh, so you are there, we, you're having talks with Kraken? Uh, still on the basic terms, we are uh, speaking. As uh, Sunny is there, we are... Uh, mm-hmm. But still, nothing is uh, official or something. So, since you know that we have a, we are a, we want to be, we want to start something, and there are a lot of startups like us who wants who wants to do something in this space. Is there any message which you would like to give them? I mean, since you've been in this industry for the past seven years now, so is there a is there a mantra of success in this industry? Success is the only thing in crypto is some something you need to come up with a good project where it can help like 1.5 billion Indians where all the future phones or something see now immigrants are having the, so much of problems and mm. uh, government is thinking to how, how they can give the facility for them and this is the time where some of the crypto projects or the crypto thing need to come up to the government level where we can support them in terms of blockchain project and crypto is the main thing we need to we, as as we are all into in crypto so we need to be uh, i i feel that some of the startups come up with some innovative ideas where they can solve this immigrants problem in terms of the mm. uh, cryptos because now everybody is locked mm. out and uh, Events are everywhere and they don't know what to do. But this is the time where a few of the startups can come up and help really the how they can help uh, to the uh, whole industry. I think you've, you've made up and, and that, and that is how uh, if we are making like 1.5 billion people to use about the crypto, then people will think about blockchain and uh, crypto is okay because now what happened means in the industry everybody will speak about the blockchain and when you tell you are doing something about the crypto they will tell no you are doing something illegitimate or something like that fair enough thank you very much harish uh, for, yeah, for this you. interview and uh, we will end this interview with a rapid fire questions so i mean where you need to just answer uh, answer in one word right so we'll give you an option. You have to select one, and uh, so it will be a rapid fire kind of yeah. a kind of a round. And if you're not, if you don't want to answer, you can you can pass that on. So it, so it's like that. You don't have to really answer it, right? So are you ready for a rapid fire question uh, answer round? Okay. Okay. Are you ready for that? Okay. So you want to stretch a little? You want to stretch yeah, a little yeah. and a warm up? <laughs> no problem, no problem. We can, we can start. <laughs> okay. First question. Uh, did you cry after the judgment came in our favor? Yes. Second question. Did you ever think of leaving the industry uh, post your arrest? No. Third question. Was there any pressure from the family to leave the industry uh, during that time? Uh, no, because our in, they know what we do. Okay, okay. family so that, supported a lot. Family supported. That is that is the biggest the biggest role which has actually. So, so my actually my next question was that only. What has been your biggest support uh, in your life? Biggest support is my family. So okay. they supported uh, uh, a lot and everything. 
because we thought that uh, you will be lose your uh, control because other states are not is like an, anything okay. we can able to take so easily what is your portfolio mix uh, for in terms of bitcoin to altcoins what is that what is the ratio Uh, sorry can you repeat the question again what is, what is your what is your personal portfolio mix when it comes to bitcoin to altcoin ratio i believe in only bitcoins you so you're a bitcoin maximalist right <laughs> that's it <laughs> okay uh, name one blockchain project in india which really impresses you a lot i not come up with any of the blockchain projects still okay please name one exchange uh, which really impresses you a lot one exchange in india which is operating from india or operating in india which impresses you a lot mm, please pass you can <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> one quality you look out in a person before hiring sorry one quality you look in a person before hiring you need to be personally interested in what he do not come for some of the salaries you need to be personally involved in what the work he do okay i prefer that one even even if he is less qualified i would prefer them but he need to be and very much interesting on what exactly the role he do not come not come for just for like a salary basis okay. personal interest matters a lot one word for crypto kanun oh, this is easy the uh, no words for crypto kanun how you guys have been helpful for the entire crypto crypto industry uh, there is no words at all for you guys because you done a very fantastic job in terms of uh, you you came you step in when i if i'm not uh, wrong you guys step in when this rbi circular yeah. came in or before or something i don't yeah, remember on that day on that day itself <laughs> oh god oh my god okay 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 because uh, i closely see once the uh, supreme court or else high court or something you were the first guys to what it call tweet or else uh, i danish was the another person he is also like me where he never come you know, what you call in the front face but mm. he was the one person inside the court leaving all his work uh, yeah, yeah. he was the first first person to see him inside the supreme court uh, from entire thing uh, what you call whatever the judgment whatever the discussion was happening it's not so easy to convince the entire crypto industry the argument whatever the argument was happening all the crypto industry outside they should have got in within a seconds what exactly is happening in the uh, in the court hall that much of uh, i don't think any other industry have this kind of support some like you guys uh, tremendous job you are doing for the entire crypto industry thank you thank you very much anis i want to thank him a lot personally i want to thank him a lot anis also and you also I, never I, come up in a media like me or <laughs> me is the back end person for yeah is he yeah, definitely he, he is the backbone he is the backbone so without any doubt yeah so so one as you asked me the first question like i will try it so i was with dennis when 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 the court judgment came outside so uh, we we i think he has tweeted one photo with me and yeah. asim and jaydeep and he that was the first uh, first picture uh, out from our uh, judgment yes yes and he told me that he told me that and he told me that <laughs> that emotion so i knew the answer to be honest but i wanted the community to 
actually feel that passion, that emotion, you know, when you go every day to the court room in expectation of that verdict, yeah. you know, and you're incurring yeah. cost, you're, you're flying down that pressure, that, yeah. you know, I, yeah. that feeling. And when it, and it, when it, that, that finally that day comes, the judgment was announced. Yeah. I mean, that emotion actually yeah. came out of your eyes. That is, that is unimaginable. Yeah. I mean, you can't even express that feeling. <laughs> can't even explain it. Yeah. Because uh, that was, we came to know only at 7, 7 p.m. The judgment is on the, the next day. So, mm. so we stay in Bangalore, we stay in Tumku actually. So, mm. to get the flight and to go to Delhi, it's, so, it's not so easy. But I know. still... I know. The day was not slept. I and JD was I know. gone. And I know the entire team. Ashim, so I mean, we we are interviewing him soon. So so yeah, he has yeah. he has he has agreed for an interview. It will be one of the most more watched interview, I'm sure. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank Ashim, you very much. Hey. Thank you very much, yeah. Harish. I think uh, thank, you. Thanks, thank you very much for your time. And you have given answers yeah. in a, in one of the most honest ways possible. And that's the way you are. That is the that is one thing with yeah. what we what we really like about you, and we want the community to to know this fact that you guys are one of the most honest guys in the industry. I if I have to, you know, uh, if I have okay. to explain your personality, and it is not important if the person is active on social media or not. Important is the person has a vision or not. And I think Unocoin yeah. guys are the guys who have got a who have got a yeah. great vision, who got a huge vision. And, uh, and I'm sure uh, the kind of sacrifices personally, which they have suffered, I don't think so that many people in the years to come will actually uh, be able to do those kind of sacrifices. And I think they have, they today, we as a community should thank them and should, should we are indebted for your contributions, which you have made to the industry. Thank you very much. Harish.